It started that morning, I think around 5.30. We had a tornado that came through Pickens County that morning, and the minute I crossed the line, I had to turn around and go right back and get my chainsaw. Uh, they told us, you know, pretty significant chance of us having uh, some tornadoes, so we started getting stuff ready around here, uh, making sure all of our tools ran, making sure uh, we had extra stuff on the trucks. By the time I made it to McFarland Boulevard, I could see the storm trailing off to my left. We watched it come in front of the station. Um, it moved, it looked like it's probably a, a mile, half a mile in front of us. I was coming down Crescent Ridge Road just about at the time the storm was coming through. And uh, I sustained a little damage to my car, but I, I was able to get out of the path of the storm. Uh, you're pretty certain that people were dying up in front of us. So and you were about to get real busy. You know, after it was over, just seeing people walking around that, that had lost everything and um, seeing kids that, you know, some was hurt and some was just mainly scared because they didn't know what, what they was going to do or where they was going to go. You could look, as far as you look left and as far as you looked right, there was just nothing. And uh, just a lot of hurt people. Our deputies had to respond and do things that are far beyond what they normally would be, do. I was calling for an ambulance and it was something that I thought I'd never hear in my career. There are no ambulances. About my 10th patient that was obviously beyond help, it, it felt pretty hopeless. And uh, I turned around then and, and really took a hard look at things and said, you know, it, we're gonna make it. People came back together and, the, and they worked with each other and, and they stood up and said, we, we're, you know, we've been knocked down once, but we're gonna stand up and we're gonna fight and we're gonna come back together. And I'm just thankful that our deputies did such a great job. Our community did, you know, an incredible job. And then our brothers from these other counties were able to come in and saw that need. But I'm just proud. I'm proud of the Tuscaloosa County Sheriff's Office. I'm proud of men like Mac Arthur. I'm proud of our chief. I'm proud of our sheriff. I'm proud of what all the young guys did. I didn't lose anything personally but I endured it with those people, just having to be out there with them. And uh, I feel a lot closer to the city, you know. I, I feel like it's more home now.